a different side to him, isn't it? Well, earlier I spoke to Roy Nika, royal editor of the Sunday Times, about that interview, and I started by asking what she made of it. Well, it was incredibly personal and intimate. I mean, it's almost the most personal I've ever heard, William. And you felt like you were sort of having a chat with him, having a very private chat with him. That incredibly personal um, material, he talked about his own mental health struggles when he was doing his air ambulance job, you know, feeling like the whole world was dying, not really knowing what was going on in his head and figuring out what was, you know, what was going on after he'd been to this very traumatic call out. It was William as you've never heard him. Yeah, gosh, I have to say that was how, uh, that was me looking at this thinking, well, I've never seen this side of William, but for you to say that as a world editor, that's so, so interesting. Had you any understanding or knowledge that it was that traumatic for him? He's touched on it before, but I've never heard him go into it in such detail in terms of the impact it had on him personally, emotionally, how long that lasted for and how he was able to deal with it. He talked about being able to you know, talk to a specific work colleague at Air Ambulance. It, it, was, it was extraordinary, actually, and I think for him to open up like that, I think he wanted people to understand that, you know, whether you're a prince or anyone else, we all go through these same human emotions and, um, and that's OK. God, it was really, really touching, uh, particularly for me, looking at his relationship with his mother. But you got a, a real insight into who exactly she was to them. For William, she was the one that took away the anxiety. Uh, just talking about listening to simply the best Tina Turner on the way to school. It was lovely, wasn't it? Um, you know, I think everyone <clears throat> in the world understands those feeling of Sunday blues, whether you're going back to school or going back to work at the end of the weekend. And that lovely description of being in the back of the car with Harry and his mum, and sometimes a policeman in the back, singing Tina Turner's The Best at the top of their voices. And what's lovely is that even though, you know, he lost his mother when he was 15, and he's now 39, he talked about that being something that stays with him even now. And it looks like him as a, as a parent now, a father of three, he's um, emulating, following his mother in terms of the relationship he has with his children and music. It was sweet, wasn't it? You know, him saying his, his kids in a way that they fight each other each morning for who wants to put on which song. And uh, he has to prioritise one day Charlotte gets hers, another day George gets his, and then Louis sort of running after them. Uh, you know, as Charlotte puts on her ballet dress and starts going mental to Shakira's Waka Waka. These, these were lovely memories and lovely moments that give us a very rare glimpse into what life is like for, you know, William and Kate and the kids were sweet. Roy Nick, it's so good talking to you as always. You too.